bendiga. Van a my voice. Qué gusto estar aquí con todos ustedes. Gracias por venir a la LIF. Los Angeles Latino International Film Festival. Thank you so much. All I can say to you is what we're about to experience is something that's way too long in coming. I'm so proud of uh, Ben de Jesus. Yeah. I really want to make sure that every single one of you, as you walk around this event tonight, whenever you see somebody with a little shirt like uh, that one right there, the white one, okay, they're the volunteers. Say thank you to them. And he's trying to them. There's about 130 of them. And uh, they're incredible. All I can say about this is the world's a stage. And Raul Julio was truly one of the most gifted artists of the 20th century. 25 years ago, he passed. And it's still 25 years right now, I'm weeping as I say this to you. I never got over it. I learned to live with it, but I could ne I've never gotten over it. And there's a lot of us sitting in this room right now. To have Meryl, bless your heart, his wife. <laughs> and her beloved, one of her beloved sons, Raulito. One of his closest and dearest friends, uh, who are the only two of us that went to his, uh, that followed him all the way to his gravesite. And that's a very primus, Barry, where are you? <laughs> I have to thank him that you did. I don't know if I could do that. But he deserves a tremendous amount of respect. Uh, I was supposed to, well, you're here, you'll hear about it. What I want to say is I want to say thank you to every single sponsor that has sponsored this event today and all the sponsors that have sponsored us in La Leaf this year and for the last 18 years. Um, I will say that uh, this is a festival that has truly gained its strength in the last four days. Um, I've done this a long time, since 1998, but uh, what has happened has been monumental and it's because of the love of what the unity, get, what happens when you come to this festival. And uh, more than ever do we need to understand it. So I hope that you'll spend uh, a little bit of time with some other films also that will be done here in the next, tomorrow there will be another day of, of films. And if you give a chance, come to the children's program. <laughs> the legacy program is just so brilliant. I, I stood, I, I went to today and it was just amazing to see young children's films that, uh, that have been made by way of the uh, Youth Cinema Project. <laughs> With no further ado, ladies and gentlemen, I want the biggest round of applause that we can get for one man that has done extraordinary work. Thanks to the help of, I must say, I'm very proud of this, uh, to Sandy Pedlo and uh, Los, the uh, La Latino Public Broadcasting on PB, who financed, helped finance the She talked with the director, and the rest was history. Ladies and gentlemen, please, the biggest round of applause you can give, Ben de Jesus. so much for being here. I really appreciate every single person here. This is a, a truly a VIP crowd, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. When I was growing up in New Jersey, and uh, when I was growing up in New Jersey and I was a young kid, obsessed with theater, obsessed with Broadway, there weren't many people that I could look up to. There was John Leguizamo, and 
name was Raul Julia. Wow. And so I always had it in my mind that I wanted to emulate these guys. I wanted to, to follow their path and, and, and to be here 15 or 20 years later and to be trusted with telling their stories, in particular Raul Julia, is a really great honor, something that I don't take lightly. And uh, although I didn't have the chance to meet him through working on this film and through the generosity of his family, his friends, and the people who knew him, I got to know him. And what I hope is that audiences around the world and around the country and even in the island of Puerto Rico, that people really get to know who he was and what he stood for. And we love them as Gomez, for sure. I love the movie. It holds up still. But there was so much more. And uh, I'm excited to share this. This is uh, the first audience that is really seeing this ever besides my team. So uh, I appreciate you being here. And uh, one last thing. When you make a film, you're, you're, I'm here standing up here in, in, in the light and, and enjoying this, uh, this moment. But... You don't make a film alone, so I think it's really important for me to just thank some people that made this possible. I'll start from the top of the list, which is uh, Latino Public Broadcasting, Luis Ortiz and Sandy Pedro. <laughs> and uh, because Mr. Omos is a humble and a, and a modest guy, he, he actually was one of the founders of Latino Public Broadcasting. So this is incredible. <laughs> I want to thank uh, Lalif and uh, the staff and the board of directors. Uh, Dilsia and, and Rafael have done an amazing job. This has been incredible. I'm so happy that we decided to, to premiere here. It feels right, and I'm, 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 it was a great decision. So thank you for my team for pushing us, and we all decided together to be here. I also want to thank uh, the Corporation for Public Broadcasting, Sylvia Bug, who's been a champion for this project and for my career for many years. Also, ITVS, that also put in money. Uh, we have... Uh, Lalif, ITBS, CPB. We have my partners at NGO Collective and NGO Studios, who are some of the exec producers. And my team is here in New York. Appreciate it. And last but not least, I, I really want to thank uh, all my team in particular. I got to thank two two people. Well, our editor Sake, who's not here, who was really the quarterback for this project, and my creative partners. Uh, Jill Krikorian and Edgar Andrade, who've been with us for 15 years. And uh, it's getting better and better every time. And then last but not least, I want to thank, I want to thank the Julia and the Arcelai family for, for entrusting us with this beautiful story. And in particular, Raul Sigmund, Raul's son, and Benjamin, who's not here, but will be there in the New York premiere. And most of all, I want to thank Meryl Julia, Meryl Palloway Julia. I, I really appreciate you trusting me with the story. I know it wasn't easy, and I hope you enjoy it, and I'm excited to share it with you all. I'm glad you enjoyed the film. It's my love letter to Raul Julia, to his family, to other Latino artists, and to uh, my, my beautiful uh, Isla del Canto, Puerto Rico. I, I just want to say also, I, I, I want to also mention, I want to thank PBS and American Masters. They've been incredible partners, and uh, I'm excited for it to air in uh, September 13th uh, this year. Uh, and we're also going to have a premiere in uh, September 10th in, in, in Puerto Rico. Yeah. It's going to be at uh, El Teatro Tapia, the, the oh, first year we need to the question. Uh, open it up to your questions. Yeah, I'm just going to ask you a couple of questions that will open up for everything. Um, you use footage that uh, it's unbelievable. Where did you get it and how hard was it? Yeah, well, uh, the, the footage we got was... Every every frame of it was an adventure in itself to just acquire it, to to pay for it, to to process it, to to do a lot of things that we did for it. So we had a really fantastic team, uh, archival producers, uh, Jan Petrocelli and Rachel Antel, that I actually met at Sundance in the screening of Dolores. 
So I was able to say, oh, you guys, come join this team, please. But uh, I, I really got to give uh, credit to my team and, and, and Jill, who, uh, who really was running the show. Jill Krikorian, who has just never failed to chase every frame and every skill down. And we called in a lot of favors and uh, a lot of different sources. It's been a long journey. Timing is everything. I'm so grateful that you've done this. Your time is just superb. What do you feel about that? Well, th thank you for that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mr. He's Mr. Almost to me. <laughs> just, uh, you know, I felt the timing in my own life was just like I felt ha I had come into my own as a filmmaker and I had enough credibility to kind of take on a more ambitious project than some of the other films I had done before. But also I just felt like how much longer are we going to wait to celebrate somebody who should have been celebrated already? So there was no strategy. I just felt an urgency. I just had a calling to tell this story. So if I could have done it even sooner, I would have done it sooner. So that was what it was about. Let's open it up. Anybody, please. Any questions? Yes, right here. Uh, thank you so much. It was very moving and, and bring different sides of Raul that we did not know about it. And, and I, I commend you for that. But you know, this is a good timing because on October the 24th, is his, the 25th anniversary of his passing. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Well, I appreciate that. Yeah, we think uh, not only is it good timing that it should have happened sooner, but it's at least it's happening now better late than never. But I also think that the Puerto Rico crisis, the situation, it also feels like a parallel. He was so ahead of his time, and I think he would have been front and center protesting and leading. Awesome. Yeah. Wow. Well, it's funny. I, 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 the origin story of this is uh, I was at an Alip conference where uh, Gina Rodriguez and myself were being honored for, uh, she was being honored for uh, Philly Brown. I was being honored for a documentary I had done uh, on John Leguizamo. And I met Felix Sanchez and uh, I saw that Meryl Julia was there and I, I couldn't, people who know me, they know I don't let an opportunity go by. If I see somebody, they're like, oh, there they are. So I made a beeline to her and I just said, right away, I just looked her right in the eyes and I said, I've really admired your husband for so long and I've been wanting to tell this story and I would be honored if you would at least hear me out and then I could share my vision for the project. And a little bit later, we ended up having lunch in the city and I told her my vision for how we would make it happen and how we would raise the money without asking her to help with that part of it. I made that really clear that we would take on this ourselves. And then I met with uh, Raul Sigmund in Hollywood and had dinner with him and I kind of worked my way through the, uh, through the family and just made sure they knew my intentions were, were, were good. Hey, buddy. Hey, John Belinsky, our cinematographer. Uh, I've known you 25 years. 20, but I'll take it. <laughs> Don't make me older. Um, basically, we worked on numerous projects. Thank you to inviting us for the involvement in this one. But essentially, why this project? Yeah, I just what feel... What is? Just, I feel like I have a responsibility. I feel really driven, and I have a mission to tell Latino stories to mainstream audiences. Yeah. 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 So this is uh, even what we're doing with the play with John Leguizamo, Latin History for Morons, that, that I'm fortunate to, to be one of the producers on. It's all about revealing what's already there and just showing our contributions to the world. Um, I would love to see you show this to everyone, every single person in Puerto Rico, and everyone, every Puerto Rican in the world, because it's now, it's like, you know, talk about reparations. The spirit of this man, whom I, I knew from my appreciation from him, but he is one of the closest oldest friends, one of my closest oldest friends, so I never met. But anyway, the spirit, and the spirit of feeling in this room, is so beautiful and so missed and so lost in the in the world that we're living in now 
or if there's anything I can do to help you, but I feel that we need that, that embrace of a man like this. Can you talk about how you felt not having known him? Yeah, I just had it, like, I, I was 17 when he passed away, and I had just started discovering half-price tickets for Broadway shows. So I was just literally months too late. But I knew I wanted to see him. I was going to go see Man of La Mancha, and I wanted to, he was definitely on my list. Uh, and I agree with you. I feel like a lot of people need to see this, not just because he was an amazing artist, but for me, he was an amazing human being who happened to be an artist, who happened to be incredibly talented. But I think his humanity was what really was... The, the defining characteristic of his life and who he was. And I, I appreciate the reception and I love the, I feel the love and it's great, but I want to give credit to, to him because the reason you love the film is because he is mm -hmm. everywhere throughout it and we wanted to infuse it. When we felt like a few minutes had gone by where we hadn't heard his voice, we would literally just stop and say, we got to put Raul back in it because he just, <laughs> just that love that you get from him, that connection was so uh, obvious. That voice. Mm -hmm. Yes. Feel that 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 it is just you know the embodiment of love. And Puerto Rico needs some love. Absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. yes. Thank, you. Thank you. Let me just say really quick. This film is in a perfect position. You can all make sure that you tell everybody through your social media yes. that it's free. Mm -hmm. Yes. On public broadcasting, PBS, so you can, everybody has that channel. You don't have to pay for it. Mm -hmm. You have the other kind of television, mm -hmm. you know, so you can get it and understand it for what it is. All I can say to you, it's our responsibility to enlighten people to the fact that this is the single most important documentary that's come out in a long, long time. Yes. I, I personally want to thank you for for this the story. I I grew up, I'm from Puerto Rico. My mom was in the circle of friends of Raul Julia when she was growing up. And when I came out as an actor, because it really is like coming out, <laughs> <laughs> it was the one story she kept on telling me was that she remembers Raul Julia, you know, in the corner selling pencils. It actually was pens. And I was like, oh, come on. You know, and it actually verifies that, but, you know, this it's parallel right now. In Puerto Rico, I think that right now what's happening is that we now know who we are, and because of mm -hmm. knowing that, we stand up for yes. what we are. Mm -hmm. And this right here is, for me, now, if I had known this, which I think I, I didn't know all the details, if I had known this, I would have embraced it. My, my fight for being an actor would have been much more tenacious, in, including my family. My question, as a question for you, <laughs> with all the material that you had that you came across, how, where did the, where did this come from? Was it the material that gave you the story? Because it's beautifully told, and it's, and I think that the humanity of it is so compelling. So, did it? Did it come before you actually piece it together, or was it something that actually grew as you got the material? Well, there, there's, unfortunately, there's not, there's not a lot of material on Raul Julia online. There's this Wikipedia page, and then there wasn't much more to find, so we really, I didn't have, I was ignorant to a lot of it. But I did find a clip of him in the dressing room at Shakespeare in the Park, and where he said, um, you know, at first I wanted to do Shakespeare, and he started doing the British accent, but then I realized I wanted to do it like my culture, and I'm like, that was the kind of triggered me. And I felt like that's the, the whole movie is that, that little scene in, the, in the, the dressing, which is, but then I realized I can bring my own culture to it, and like, I live my life in that sense, where I bring my culture to whatever I'm doing, whatever, whatever it's for. Yes. So, I just, just wanted to, that was it. Yes, go ahead. Phenomenal, thank you, thank you so much. Um, I'm incredibly moved by it. And I was wondering, to piggyback on that question about there's so much material you found through family, through archives, was there anything you weren't able to include that now you watch it? It just had to be this long, there was still something else I would have liked to have done. Uh, anything missing? You know, I, I, I've, I've given that up so far. <laughs> I, I'm, not, I'm not looking at it anymore. You know, Jill's like, don't change anything. <laughs> 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 but I, I, 
No, I feel great about it. So I, I feel like there was other stuff I could have done. We fought for it. It was going to be a 60-minute documentary. We fought to make the 90s. So I feel like we included a, a good amount of stuff we wanted. Thank you for the extra 30 minutes. Yeah. One more question. Over here. Oh, Go ahead. I'm an old friend of Merrill's, and I also was an editor and a, and, and a filmmaker, and I honor you. It's beautifully, perfectly raw. Mm -hmm. And I just wondered when the idea of using Doc's speech as the spine came to you. At what point did you decide to use that? That came that came pretty early on, and I, I, it was like a, she was talking about the all the world's a stage and all the men. Oh, sorry, all the world's a stage and all the men are merely players. And that, that I just felt like that was a story of a man's life, and I felt like using Latino actors to perform Shakespeare was going to drive home the point that we can do it all, and that was part of the thesis of the film. I just felt like it worked. Thank you so much to Ben and to the team that made this possible. Thank you so much to producers and everybody and to uh, LPB for putting in the money at the beginning to make it bounce. All I can tell you is that this has been a really wonderful experience and both, every, all of you deserved to see it like this. This is very difficult to get, to get a theater, sit down and watch the movie in this manner. I'd like to thank again one more time Amaro and Raulito for coming, traveling here, yes. and being a part of this with us. Uh, I'm so grateful that they came and they did this. And to all of you that came, and you know who you are, Isai, uh, you know, Kenny, Ortega, and, and Andy, and Barry. And it's just, mm -hmm. it's been an extraordinary. And La Senora Cole, who's, uh, you know, yeah. <laughs> she's, she's an integral part of, of Puerto Rico. And, um, and so many of you here that I thank you for coming and being a part of this. You've made this what it really should be. And it's a, a really an honorable understanding 25 years later of one of the greatest human beings. Mm -hmm. Get the actor. The human beings that has ever graced this planet. Thank you for coming. Thank you, everybody.